so this is part three of the video series on creating this. And I just want to add in just a little bit more just to give it some extra life. Very simple. We're going to use some cloth physics. So select all, delete, shift A. I'm going to add in a plane into edit mode and let's rotate that around. So from here, I'm going to right click, subdivide, subdivide, subdivide. There we go. If your computer's got a bit of warmth, you can go some more. I'm going to select this edge, come over into the vertex groups, add a new vertex group, and I'm just going to call this pin group and assign. Don't forget to hit assign, assign. From here over into the physics tab, cloth. And then what I'm going to do is come down to the bottom under K shape, under shape. There we go. Pin groups. And we're going to add that pin group in. So now if I press play, it kind of hangs there. Sweet. Kind of annoying that it's just surviving under its own uh, physics there. So into edit mode, I'm just going to rotate on the X, just a smidgen. There we go. So now when we go back to the start and press play, you can see how it kind of like folds in. Awesome. We'll bring that back. And from here, we kind of want to whoosh it in the wind. So shift A, come down to force field and I want a wind. Rotate Y minus 90. And I kind of want to just move it so it's rotating like this way-ish. There we go. And I am just going to bump up the strength to like 5,000. <laughs> there we go. And so now if we press play, we have it blowing in the wind. Awesome. Let's just change some of the settings on this. So I am going to enable collisions and we're going to enable self collision and turn off object collision because it's not going to be colliding with any objects. Let's right click on that and go shade smooth. Mm. That's pretty suave. Now, if we kind of want it a little bit floppier, you know, we can drop down all these things to one and then it's a little bit more silkier. Yeah, that's pretty cool. What I am going to do though, is I'm going to bake this out. So let's go 500, 500 frames should do it. And I haven't saved it yet. So it's not going to work the baking. So if we go file, save as, save it somewhere. Bake all dynamics. There we go. It's going to quickly truncate through. Nice. So now let's say we want to bake this animation so we don't have to kind of take the wind and the plane at the same time. So we're going to come up to edit preferences. And I'm going to type in MDD and we're going to enable the MDD format. From here, file, export, Lightwave point cache MDD. And let's just save this flag MDD, sure, export. Have our flag selected, file import, uh, point cache, there we go, on this thingy. And uh, wham bam, thank you ma'am. Let's get rid of our cloth simulation. And there we go, go away. Done. Stinking sick. So from here, what we can do is I'm just going to rename the object to flag, file, save as, flag. Let's now go ahead and jump into our scene that we've been working in and scrolling back through it. We don't have this in the background anymore, which is a little bit frustrating. So like we did in the last bit, I am going to just increase that. Grab the whole scene. GX. GY. There we go. Awesome. And then from here, file, import, sorry, file, link, go into our flag, object, flag, link. Uh, where is our flag? Let's grab it. Sorry, let's just make it part of the scene. Click on that. Now we can move that around. G, G, Z, rotate 180. And it's a pretty big flag. 
let's kind of just line it up here-ish. And it's going to go something like that. Now, whereabouts are we going to see it? So we no longer see it here. That's cool. Excellent. That works out really well. I'm going to shift D and duplicate this and bring it down a bit. Let's maybe jump into the animation and selecting our flag. Now it's slightly annoying because these are both linked together for some reason. So I'm actually just going to go shift S cursor to select it and I'm going to delete the bottom one and we'll move this shape key over a little bit, make sure it's moving through the whole shot. Lovely. And then I'm going to go file, append our flag model again. And then we'll bring it back like so. Shift S selection to cursor. Let's make sure we copy the other one. So our scale, what's our scale? Is that control C and I'm just going to quickly cover that off uh, the rotation. So we'll go 180 on the Z. Nice. And then we're going to copy the X and the Y, which should already be the same. But now we've got two different flags waving at two different times. That's pretty cool. Uh, we haven't even given these any materials yet. So let's just give it maybe blue and green should never be seen unless something in between. So let's maybe go like an orangey color. Uh, specularity down, roughness up a little bit. And we'll give that one material two as well. Control S to save. Let's do an F12 quick render, see what it's turned out like. Yep. That's looking beautiful. That's going to look great as it's fluttering in the wind. I reckon I might even just make him a bit bigger. Mm, no, because then I don't want it to dominate the scene. I just want it a little bit in the background. Uh, we'll do one more video, which we just add just a little bit extra, a little bit extra. However, though, if you are looking for a really good add-on uh, for Cloth Dynamics, Simply Cloth is probably the best one by far. So let's go subdivide. If we open up Simply Add-ons, create Simply Cloth. I'm going to select this. Make. I can't make that a collision because it's a link. Ugh. Fine. Back to Simply Cloth. Um, activate that as a collision. Friction. Yeah, we'll turn that up a little bit. Whole bunch of presets. Like mm, silk. Let's increase the subdivision. Uh, self collision. Yes, please. Collision with others. Yes, please. And then I'm just going to press play. Bam. Like that. Super simple. Now, obviously, the geometry is not too thick on this one. Uh, however, if we go back to the start, go into edit mode, selected some vertices. Here we can go pin selection as layer, slider name, cheese. <laughs> and then we press play. Yeah, like if you're going to be doing cloth, simply cloth, link in the description.